Guess How Much I Love You, written by Sam McBratney. Little Nut Brown Hair, who was going to bed, held on tight to Big Nut Brown Hair's very long ears. He wanted to be sure that Big Nut Brown Hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could guess that, said Big Nut Brown Hair. This much, said Little Nut Brown Hair, stretching out his arms as wide as they could go. Big Nut Brown Hair had even longer arms. But I love you this much, he said. Hmm, that is a lot, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very high, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I wish I had arms like that. Then Little Nut Brown Hair had a good idea. He tumbled upside down and reached up the tree trunk with his feet. I love you all the way up to my toes, he said. And I love you all the way up to your toes, said Big Nut Brown Hair, swinging him up over his head. I love you as high as I can hop, laughed Little Nut Brown Hair, bouncing up and down. But I love you as high as I can hop, smiled Big Nut Brown Hair, and he hopped so high that his ears touched the branches above. That's good hopping, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I wish I could hop like that. I love you all the way down the lane as far as the river, cried Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you across the river and over the hills, said Big Nut Brown Hair. Oh, that's very far, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. He was almost too sleepy to think any more. Then he looked beyond the thorn bushes out into the big dark night. Nothing could be farther than the sky. I love you right up to the moon, he said, and closed his eyes. Oh, that's far, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very, very far. Big Nut Brown Hair settled Little Nut Brown Hair into his bed of leaves. He leaned over and kissed him goodnight. And then he laid down close by and whispered with a smile, I love you right up to the moon and back. Let those words sink in and stay with you. You are worthy. Let me know if you'd like me to read a special story that is near and dear to your heart. I will be happy to surprise you with it. So bye for now. Take care and I'll see you next month.